what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to put together this uh, little cement mixer that I ordered online. It arrived in a box, it weighed 135 pounds, I think. And what do you get? So basically you get half the drum there, the other half, you got a gasket there to put it together with, you got some framing. I think those right there will be the mixing paddles for inside the drum. This is a part of the handle that you use to tip it over and dump, uh, dump the cement once it's mixed. Get some wheels and frame and in here is the motor. It just plugs in. Okay, so now a couple of things I've heard about these. This is, uh, I think the, the brand is called Power Fist. You know, it's available at, uh, I got this at Princess Auto in Canada. But, uh, you know, it's the same kind of thing you would get at Harbor Freight in the United States. Okay, it's, it's Chinese stuff and it's knockoffs of, you know, uh, better, better stuff elsewhere, you know. So I paid, I paid $189 Canadian for this on sale. So that's about $150 US I paid for this. Okay, so let's just uh, walk through here. Now, I've heard a couple of people say, you know, with these uh, mixers, they've got them, they don't have any instructions. But this one comes with an owner's manual. And I see inside, it does have the instructions. You know, you put the frame together and it talks, you know, it talks you through the steps of, of how to put it together. So I don't know if they were looking for something else or they didn't get this book at the time. Okay, so that came with it. They also have a little bag of uh, nuts and bolts and, and each bag is numbered. I don't see a number one, so that could be a mistake right off. I see two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I guess maybe the reason there's no number one is number one just shows I think it might show just the spindle sticking out of the end of the drum. That could be that could be what it, why they don't have a bag of nuts and bolts. But the rest, you know, it shows you on this little sketch that comes with it uh, where everything goes. So that seems pretty clear. Okay, so the first step, they say take the cross beam, 55, and put it into the wheel bracket, 58. I don't see any numbers on this stuff. But this looks like the cross bracket. And that's the, the wheel frame there where the wheels will go on either end of that. So... And if I look on the little drawing in here, this is it here, and this is the wheel frame. And they say that the bolts that go into these holes, both sides, are from bag number two. Okay, so there's, there's actually four longer bolts and two shorter bolts in that package number two. So these ones here are longer, they come through here, and the shorter one goes through there, okay? The shorter ones won't go through here, they won't not long enough. Okay, so I got that part assembled. Now there's another piece here, an upright. So basically, this has got to go in here and get bolted in. So. Okay, so I got those two through there, and then this other one's going to go through like that. Okay, so I got the frame together like that. Next, I'm going to put the wheels on, and the wheels say bag number eight. So I got bag number eight, eight here, and uh, put one washer on, then the wheel, then the other washer, got a cotter pin, both sides. Okay, so the next thing is the drum with that bracket goes up in here and you can see how there's a little square there on either side. There's a square there and a square there. And they go down inside of the frame here. And I looked at the picture, so the motor goes that way. So the pinion that drives the pinion uh, that drives the gear on the drum has to go towards the wheel end. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I got this side set down in the frame here. You'll see there's a little bolt or a pin will go through there. And I got this one almost down in. And this is the wheel side. So the motor goes on this side, so I had to make sure the pinion comes over here on this side. All right, let's see. There it is. Okay, the next step is to put on this dump handle, which basically turns the drum any way you want to have it. You know, it'll put it upright for mixing or it'll turn it down to dump it. And it's uh, controlled by this, uh, this notch plate here. And there's uh, corresponding uh, little grooves in here that uh, will go into here. It'll become more evident once it's together, but basically this plate goes on here first. And you use, uh, according to this little drawing here, bag number four, so these parts here. And there's a spring in here, and I'll show you where that goes in a second. Okay. So basically the first thing you do is you take this, and it can go either way. So it just has to go on there like that. 
Okay, and we're gonna put two little bolts in there. Okay, so to put this handle on, uh, there's a little disc that comes in the bag, and you can see there's a screw here, an adjustment screw, and a spring. So what you do is you put that little disc down in the hole, and that'll make sure that the, the bolt just doesn't go up through the middle of the spring. It'll push on the spring when you want it to tension how tight the handle is. So that just sits in there like that for now. And we got a bolt that'll go through this hole. And I'll show you just where that goes in a second here. Set up like that. Okay. Okay, so I got the bolt through there. Washer on there. Okay, so this adjustment now, this is on here. So basically what you do to tip it is you're going to push on this and turn it, see? And those little locks are going to fall into any one of those holes on that spring tension when you choose, right? So you can choose to leave it there. The spring will hold it in there, okay? Take it back and put it there. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, you want it positively engaged, so that, yeah, that's holding it in there pretty good. Turn it like that. Okay, and back. Okay, next step is we're gonna put the, the drum together. Here's the, here's the top part of the drum here. And there's a gasket. And they recommend putting uh, some type of sealer. Uh, I'm gonna put some silicone on this gasket. Like so, go all the way around. Okay, like that. Uh -huh. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the gasket in there and I'm just going to put the bolts through uh, while it sets up. Okay, so I'll put the, that one there. Yeah, that's going to hold it, I guess. First impressions, you know, it's made really cheap, obviously, but could you make it for $150 and have a cement mixer with a motor and everything? No. It's a good deal for that, you know. Is it going to last 25 years and be something you can pass on and be proud of? Most likely not, you know. But to get you through some jobs, I, I think it's going to be okay. That said, I hasn't, haven't tried it yet, but I think it's probably okay. I mean, you know, obvious little defects like this. I mean, look at when you do, right? Okay, so that silicone set partially. I, you know, I didn't let it sit too long. But when I tried to just lift the bolts out, they pulled the gasket up. So I'm unscrewing them from the rubber. And I'm going to try and sneak that onto the drum before I have to wait too long. And I don't want to wait all night for the silicone to set up. And there's, a, there's an arrow on the side of the drum, not there. There's an arrow there. And that arrow has to go in line with this. Yeah, none on the other side. Okay, so it goes on that side. Okay. All the way around. Like so. Let's try it. This. That. And the arrow. Okay, I got all eight bolts started. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's probably the worst part is that, that, you know, that little rubber gasket fights you a bit. Okay, so the next thing we're going to put on is the motor housing. There's a flat on the shaft up here. You see right here, a flat on the shaft, so we're just going to line that up for them. And what there is is there's two short bolts that'll go through the frame up there to here. And two long ones go through this little bracket here. This will go on the back of the frame. And those long bolts go through there. That's bag number seven. Okay, that slid right on there. All right, we'll get those tightened. And there it is, all together. Motor on. Drum all put together. These paddles go inside the drum. They're just, they're marked up. There's two of them. One there, one there. A bolt through the drum on either side there, top and bottom. Okay, I've got it plugged in. I haven't tried it. Let's, uh, let's give it a try, see what happens. Yeah, it seems 
pretty good. Well, that seems fine. I mean, it's unloaded. There's no weight in it, but I'm not going to try and overload it either. I'm going to just use it with uh, one bag at a time, maybe two bags of concrete at a time. That seems pretty good for the money, you know. I mean, for 189 Canadian or like about 150 US dollars, what can you do? I mean, you know, I, you couldn't build one with a motor and everything for that money. And, uh, you know, if it gets you through a few jobs, fine. You know, it's not the highest quality by any means, but uh, it's okay. I think it'll work. Okay, so that's how that goes. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.